Hello everyone, I'm Peter Koder, 15 years old programmer and today I want to show you uh, one of the most elegant string algorithms out there, many hairs algorithm, which finds the longest palindromic substring in a linear time, OM. That's such a big deal because most naive or even dynamic programming approaches take ON square time. So today I will explain it with easy to understand examples on logic that actually makes sense. Let's break it down clearly step by step. So above all, the problem is that we are given a string like B A B A D. We want to find the longest substring that reads the same forward and backward. In this case, as you can see, BAB and EBA are both valid answers. Okay, but the brute force way would be to check all substring and see if they are palindromes. That's super slow, of course, oh, and square time or even worse. So we need something faster. And here is the role of the Manahers algorithm. Okay, uh, the first step is that we have to transform the original string by inserting a special character, like, for example, hashtag, uh, between every letter and at the end of the, the string as well. Why? Because this makes every possible part of them odd length. So we don't have to handle even or odd separately. So with this step, we will reach that point uh, that uh, where every character can act as the center of a, of a potential palindrome. No edge cases needed. So now we scan the transform string from left to right. For each position, I, we try to expand outward as far as we can while the characters on both side are, uh, sides match. Just like checking for palindrome center that I. So we iterate through T character by character and build an array P where PI holds the radius of the longest palindrome centered at position I. But here is the smart part. We remember the rightmost palindrome we have seen so far in order to maintain two important variables. C the center of the current rightmost palindrome, and R, the right boundary of that palindrome. If our current index i is within the correct palindrome, uh, i smaller than r, we take advantage of mirror symmetry. Here is the idea. If you are standing inside a symmetric pattern, then whatever happens, on your left is like a mirror on your right. We define mirror as two times C minus I. That's the position on the opposite side of the center. So if we already know the length of the palindrome at mirror, then we can assume the one at I has at least the same length, unless it touches the boundary R. We can imagine it like a tree stands along in the middle of a field. In the morning, the sunlight casts a shadow to the right. In the afternoon, the sun moves and the shadow goes left. If you view the field from above at both times, the shadows would be mirror images. But the shadow stays symmetrical only until a taller tree breaks the pattern. That's just like expanding a palindrome. You can only go outward until something doesn't match. This kind of reuse of previous results is what makes the algorithm fast. Now let's talk about time complexity. At first glance, we are checking multiply characters for each center. It looks like O and square time, right? But the trick is we never recheck the same pair of characters more than once. That's the key. Each expansion either increases the right boundary R or it stops. And R can only move forward through the string, never 
back. Since R goes from 0 to n at most once, the total number of comparisons is bounded by On. That's amortized analysis. Individual steps might look costly, but over the whole process, the total cost is linear. So to recap the whole thing, we transformed the string to handle all centers uniformly. We used symmetry and the clever mirror tip to avoid redundant checks. We kept everything in O and time thanks to amortized behavior. Okay, and to be honest, I think manacle algorithm is not only efficient, it's beautiful. Okay, by the way, if this theoretical explanation wasn't entirely clear, don't worry. You can find the full uh, Python code below and also on my GitHub page. You can see in my code on GitHub how to even return the longest palindrome. I also have a really interesting web application coming soon to GitHub and a full video about it is on the way too. So if you are into web development algorithms or even AI, especially the more serious full stack topics like front-end, back-end and how everything connects, then it's worth subscri subscribing uh, to both my GitHub and YouTube channel now. Okay, so I encourage you to check out the code and try running it yourself. Uh, it will help you connect the theory with how it actually works in practice. So, thank you for watching. Bye.